Hi and welcome. Uh, the topic of the day is safety and mm -hmm. with me today I have Axel who is our safety expert, right? Yes, correct. And uh, what are we going to talk about? We're today? going to talk about a tool that is to be used when you have done your, your risk assessment yes. and you need to realize uh, this with products to meet the risk assessment to reduce the risk. And then there is a tool that's called Systema that we're going to talk about today. It's not our tool, uh, it's a German tool uh, from an independent, uh, how do you say, Company, governmental, governmental agency. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if we look in the real world, yes, we start there. In, in the back of us here, we got this uh, fabulous machine. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, here we have a line of machines and here we can see that we may have the need for uh, several safety functions. One of them being the emergency stop, but perhaps we have some hatches also. Perhaps there is a um, light curtain. Perhaps we need a, a mat somehow to, to make sure that operators are not too close to to a dangerous movement. So, but what the point we're trying to reach here yes. is that each machine yeah. can have different safety requirements. Exactly. The safety functions can have different safety requirements, different PL required according to 13849. So, so this we, we will look at one safety function for a machine as an example and see how this could be realized in system. So here we have a safety function. Yes. Uh, it consists of uh, three subsystems. We have input, we have logic, and we have output. That is basic. So three different parts. That's yes. one of the simplest exactly. versions. Three I get. different products. And here we do the risk assessment. Yeah. And in our case, I think we have come to the conclusion that PLD yeah. is something we want to achieve yes. somehow. Let's say. And how do we know that? How do we know that? Because we have done a, a risk assessment according to 12100 standard. Yeah. And now we need to make sure that the products we have chosen yep. are to use are this. suitable. Exactly. Yes. So then we need the tool Systema. And what we as Fence Contact produce for Systema is a library. It's called VDMA library. And it contains all our safety products and all the safety data, uh, safety data needed in order to, to make the calculations in uh, the tool. Yes. And the tool, how much is it? It's free. Oh, fantastic. And it's not ours, so it's, it's free. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's great. <laughs> but how do I find it? Uh, you Google basically uh, IFA Systema download, and then you get to this page uh, where you can find the different versions. But it's only the tool, then you also need the libraries. Uh, they could be found here, they could also be found at our webpage. Yes, but so Google is our friend. Yeah, here Google is or for Bing finding or whatever you Bing, use. Yeah, because the actual data, this yeah. database, mm -hmm. uh, the tip here is to just go to our homepage and then enter the product number yeah. on the product and then push downloads. Yes, and there you will find a library. Yes, you can download. Look for VDMA, that the magic word, VDMA yeah. library under downloads. But let's get serious and uh, yes. start working instead. Okay, now I downloaded Systema mm -hmm. and installed it on my laptop. I also downloaded the library mm -hmm. from the homepage. And uh, what, should, what should I do now? Well, now? Now we will import the library. So we go to the top. We have two different types of libraries. The VDMA library is the one that is provided by us as manufacturers with the data from us. And the library, only library, is where you can add your favorites from VDMA library or where you could produce your own products. Or so, so we will go to VDMA library and then we need to add a library. We go to the file you downloaded and unzipped. We go to the XML file, open this. And now we upload all our safety products with all the relevant safety data that is needed. So, Let's see, arrow down, and here we have a lot of products oh, oh, oh. with similar names. <laughs> yeah, they look the same old. Very user friendly, but we can try this with the article numbers. So if you push Control F, then we can search for specific products in this list. In this case, I got the PSR switch. Yes. Uh, this one has the part number 2702. 
975. But I guess you can type in the description as well. Or... Yes, yes, you could. But this is the most unique yes. identifier. So here we have the switch. Perfect. But at first, we need a project to put the sensors in. So, new project. This is on the level of the machine. Uh, so basically, we will name it machine one. Here you could add also relevant data that you would like to later on have in the report that you can produce from this tool uh, when you deliver the machine to your customer. Yes. Yes. So we have project and then we go to new. This is then the safety function. And here we have a switch. Let's say we put it on a door, door one, for instance. But if you have a lot of safety functions, you can put them individually yeah. here, right? Here you would also uh, create the safety function emergency stop or light guard or whatever and put them under machine one. And then you are in the step of populating them with the subsystems that we mentioned before. But first, we say that door one had a PL required. You said PLD. If PLD, I, I think so. So either enter it here directly or if you want, you can do this exercise where you look at the severity, frequency, and possibility of avoidance. Um, we do it like this, then we get PLD. Then we also down here, see for safety function door one, the target is PLD. Then we need to populate this. So we right click, load from VDMA library, and by chance we have already the sensor here that we mentioned that we looked for earlier so easiest way to import this i find is to take arrow down go to the base level of this structure and then just hold left drag and drop drag and drop and drag it and drop it to door one so the safety function yes where it's where, used. where you would like to have it if if you are doing several safety functions with the same product then you can just put the same also there so now we have the first the input part the input then it, this input goes to a logic module yes. that's subsystem two right exactly and then we need to do the exact same thing for that one do you have an article number on this uh, article it's called two nine mm -hmm. eight one Four eight six, but to, to be honest, I don't know if this works together. Electro electrician. No, no. Uh, that's that's a, a, different. a different thing. What we check in the system is that these have a suitable uh, suitable safety data uh, and can reach a suitable PL level to in a safety function meet the PL required. So please check uh, with your electrician also if these meet your technical requirements and if these are suitable. In your solution yeah and this is an example uh, so similar here mark the bottom level and just pull it and we see that we get green arrows here this means that we have done our job we have populated the, the products in the library with the data that's needed in Systema and uh, the last one we need the output the output module and here we use this electronic contactor Mm -hmm. uh, which has a part number of 290569. Yes, and there we have that one also. Perfect. Then we have done this three times. Mark it. Pull it over here. Excellent. There we have the three products. So we can now see on the safety function level, PLD was required. Yes. We reach PLE, oh. in fact, and here we have the, the sum of the PFHD for the function. We could also check similar by marking the different subsystem and see what's the individual data for them. Uh, and as mentioned, for the report, enter as much data as possible here to get it into the printed report. Yeah, but, but now I want to create a report on this yes. machine yeah. as well. But this is, of course, only an example. So yeah, yeah. In, in the real world, outside them, our laptops, <laughs> it is actually a quite a lot of different yes. safety functions. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So you have, you have to do that. But just one for this and create a report yes. out of this. And we go to report button. Very simple. Oh, we need to save first. Very simple. 
And then we get two different types of reports, an overview and a detailed reporting. But I will do the overview here and I will add the subsystems also so that we get them in. And this is just two pieces of paper. But the good thing is that we get PL required, we get reached PL and we get the products presented. Um, and it's also documented to be signed and handed over to the customer. So this is keeping your um, your data safe, basically saying we have done our job. We have chosen the correct products, the correct calculations. If the customer, your end user, perhaps changes machine in any way, then it's on their head. You have done what you should do. Yeah. So Systema seems to be a nice free tool. Yeah independent on vendors yes to help you calculate you can do this of course manually if you yeah, want yeah, to yeah. but uh, to keep everything together and also get the nice documentation part of yes. it. yes correct thank you axel and uh, thank you hope to see you again uh, bye, <laughs> take care bye